when you suspect that someone has injured their knee during a soccer game, what is the first thing you you go out there and look for? First and foremost, if someone's down, the, it's the athletic trainers that run out first. If they're concerned and need my guidance or my insight, then they'll call me on the field. Um, the first thing I do when I get out to the field and look at a player with a knee injury is first and foremost, I want to make sure that they're safe, that it's not a catastrophic injury like a dislocation or an injury to a nerve or an artery, something catastrophic. Once that's assessed, then we can kind of hone down. If I suspect an ACL, first thing I'll look for is immediate swelling, which sometimes occurs. And then there's a series of tests that we'll do to help me determine if the ACL has been injured. Um, the test that's probably most sensitive, most specific for an ACL is called the Lachman exam. And we do that by um, slightly bending the knee and supporting it with my left hand. And then by supporting the femur, I'll then grab with my right hand and I'll actually pull the tibia forward and feel, and I, what I'm trying to feel for is an end point. And that tells me the ACL is intact because the ACL's job is primarily to prevent the tibia from moving forward on the femur. So yours is nice and strong, very impressive after all those years of playing soccer. Um, but if it's torn, what I would do is I'd hold stable here and I'd pull forward and I would feel no end point. The knee would, or that tibia would just keep coming forward. That would be an indication of an ACL tear. So I've seen some players injure their knee, ACL tear. They didn't know it at the time and they kept trying to go back into yeah. the game. So technically you could tear your ACL, feel like something's wrong but still potentially try and go back into the game? Yeah, during play, you've got this adrenaline going, you're involved with the game, you've got this competitive spirit. Um, so there's a, there is a period from the injury until that you, you realize that it's injured that you wanna go, <laughs> go back. So my job, the trainer's job is to have a strategic pause, let everyone kind of assess. And usually after that strategic pause and assessment, that's when the athlete comes to the conclusion is something's not right. You'll, you'll quite often see in sports where we'll ask them to try to do some dynamic things on the sideline to test their knee. And that's usually when an athlete who's maybe in denial will come to the conclusion that I can't go.